Hello and welcome to Channel 2S. I'm your host, Second Soundwave, and after multiple Gunpla News cameos, we're finally taking a proper look at the high grade Universal Century Premium Bandai Ifrit Noct, or however you're supposed to pronounce it. Before we start this review, I gotta give a real quick thank you to the Hangar Bay for once again supplying me with this kit. The Hangar Bay has over 100 Premium Bandai kits in stock and ready to ship within one business day. So if you wanna get yourself an Ifrit Noct or maybe some other Premium Bandai kit, check out the links in the description below. And now, on with the review. The Afrit is a bit of an interesting mobile suit. It's not very popular in the Gundam anime, but when it comes to Gundam games, it's everywhere. There's been Afrits in everything from Missing Link to Blue Destiny to Battlefield Record, which is where this particular variation is from, and pretty much all of them look awesome. But I think this one might be one of my favorites. The primary color of this kit, I'm admittedly not sure is actually coming off properly on camera, but it is a very dark purple. Looking through the viewfinder right now, I'm seeing it as kind of a bluish color, and I gotta say that is not exactly accurate. But camera honesty issues aside, this kit is a very good looking model. I do love the design of the Afrit from the get-go, and the new changes they made for the Noct look fantastic. This kit's based off the high-grade Universal Century Afrit Schneid, so before I go any deeper into the details of this kit, I think the best thing I could do is pull in my own Schneid for a little comparison. That was not supposed to happen. There we go. When I set these figures side by side for the first time, I was really impressed by just how much new tooling there actually was. And by far, the best change they made from the original Schneid was removing these stupid knives. Having to pick up and handle this kit again for the review really reminded me how much I hate these things. Not only do they fall off constantly, but they're placed right at the most natural places to hold onto the kit when it's in your hands. This mobile suit was really not a good idea, and it's a shame that this is the only version of the Afrit we got at retail. Noct, however, is a much more solid experience than the Schneid. You can grab onto his shoulders and pose him while holding onto his waist and tug on his arms and do all sorts of things like that without worrying about little knives bouncing off the floor and falling under your bed. The Noct does have its own weapon attachment ports, but they are much more secure and placed in less obtrusive locations. But anyways, let's not lose our focus. The retooled parts on the Afrit Noct are... Almost everything. Most of the cosmetic armor pieces on this kit are either brand new or taken from the Afrit Kai. New shoulder pads, new forearms, new forearm add-ons, new chest, new backpack, more skirt armor, new front skirts and crotch piece, new feet, new leg armor, and new armor attachments on the lower and upper legs. And of course, he's got new weapons. One thing that surprised me about this kit that I thought would be changed was the mono eye. On my first Afrit Schneid that I had, it was very loose and you could pretty much move it around by just tapping on the head. And I thought for sure that just had to be some kind of weird quality control error with my copy. Well, apparently it is a universal issue with all the high grade universal century Afrits because this guy's eye ain't any tighter. Fortunately, this is pretty much a non-issue and if anything, it's kind of beneficial since it means you don't need to disassemble the head to move the eye around. The weapons on the Afrit knock are pretty darn cool. His main weapon is a katana and sheath that is stored on his back. It's just pegged in on a standard round peg so you can pull it out just like that. And the sword itself can be drawn from the sheath. The sword looks pretty cool in his hand, but as is usually the case with these kind of swords, if you paint the blade silver and the handle black, it looks even better. The other melee options for the Afrit Noct are four kunai, four very large kunai that are stored on his knees and waist armor. And you do gotta be a little bit careful with these. The clip only attaches to the very base of the handle, and it only goes on when the blade is perfectly flat. If you try to put the kunai in any other direction, you're gonna risk damaging the clip which is exactly what I ended up doing with this one, and that's why it doesn't fit as tightly as the others. Once you take apart the hands, pop the kunai in them, and attach the hands back together, you got yourself another great looking set of melee weapons. Just like with the sword, I think the kunai could benefit from some silver paint on the blades, in fact, even more so than the sword, since they're just flat purple. But even as they come right out of the box, they're still pretty nice weapons. The last weapon on this kit is kind of built into this little forearm piece, although it does require a little bit of parts forming. To use it, you have to rotate, remove, grab your extra barrel attachment, attach, and attach. And what you got yourself now is just a simple three-barreled cannon mounted on the Freet's arm. It's a pretty nice looking weapon. I do like the extra detail underneath the armor. It really helps sell the look. There's really only one place where I feel the Afrit Noct underperforms, and that's articulation. I'm not going to show all the articulation for this kit since a lot of it is very similar to the Schneid. So like the arms have a pretty standard range of movement. The head swings around okay, but it doesn't really look up and down. The torso technically has joints, but it's basically a brick because of how the hoses work. Where the articulation changes is when we come down below the waist. The Noct has these extra add-on pieces on the sides of the thighs. They're on ball joints and that does allow them to move out of the way a little bit, but they still hinder an awful lot of articulation. So on the Noct, you're only able to bring the hips out to about here. 
This kit really could have benefited from some kind of swing down hip joint like the Origins Oculus have. The front to back movement isn't really that great either. Thanks to the ball joint on the thigh armor, he does have an okay knee bend still, but with how limited the hips are, you're not gonna be getting a whole lot of use out of it. The ankles are actually pretty okay. They're not super articulated, but I think they still get the job done. That's just about everything I have to say about the knock, but before I wrap up this video with my final verdict, there's something else really cool I wanna show you about this kit. You get a lot of leftover parts. There's an entire runner in this kit that's taken straight from the Afrit Custom and it has a huge quantity of leftover parts. Now you don't get a perfect set of Afrit Custom parts. Obviously you don't get the shoulders, you don't get the backs of the missile pods, you don't get the vents and thrusters for the leg armor. But between this runner and its duplicate, you get a lot of kit bash fodder. If you wanted to, you could even combine the parts left on the runners with the standard Afrit Noct and make an Afrit of your own creation. In my eyes, the Afrit Noct is superior to the Afrit Schneid in almost every way. The articulation hindrances caused by the new leg armor are a bit of a shame, but the Afrit Schneid wasn't exactly a build burning Gundam itself. All it takes to make a better high grade Afrit than the Schneid is just to remove the knives, but the Noct goes above and beyond that with an awesome new look and great accessories. And for that, the Afrit Noct gets a thumbs up. Although this guy is still my favorite Afrit kit ever. So if you want to get an Afrit knocked for yourself or any of the other multitude of premium Bandai kits at the hangar bay, you can follow the link down in the description to check them out. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, I'm your host, Second Soundwave, and I'll see you next time. Take care, guys.